Hi, welcome back. It's Frank again. And uh, I get a lot of questions about, I got all this technology now that you just set up in my room. Now, how do I do a news show? How do I do a simple news show? And understanding that a lot of you don't have a lot of time, and uh, it's something that could seem overwhelming. So what I want to show you is a simple way to do a news show. And like any production that you're going to do, it takes pre-production planning. So remember, what are you going to have in your show? I'm going to show you a simple setup where you're going to have a beginning, a middle, and an end. And it's going to look pretty professional. So let's get started. Now, the first thing I'm going to tell you is that's important is create a slideshow on PowerPoint. I have a computer hooked up here right now, and it's just a laptop, but it has PowerPoint. So whether you use Google Slides, uh, PowerPoint, or um, uh, Apple uh, Keynote, it doesn't matter. But create for yourself a slideshow. Now I'm going to show you uh, the slides in advance, what I did, just to give you some idea. So let me pull them up here, and I'm going to advance these slides. So here I have an opening slide. And let me show you full screen. So I have an opening slide here. Now, I have the name of the school, I have the date, I have a logo, and of course, this can be anything you want. But uh, it's important to have an opening slide. This is the first thing they're going to see. Then you're going to have another slide, and some of the schools uh, do the pledge during the news show. Others do it over the loudspeaker, so depending. I put the pledge in here, so there's a little flag, Pledge of Allegiance, and then the next slide is going to be something uh, of an announcement that the school has. So here's one, and I just made this up, Library Fund. New books have arrived in the media center, and so the uh, anchors will read this while it's up on the screen. Then they'll go back to the, uh, other sh the uh, live shot. And here's another one. I said, okay, there's a new lunch schedule. And I did like a little graphic here. And then I did this thing called Art News, where I'm saying uh, a teacher in the school has done something that you need to take a check out. And then the last slide is going to be credits. And uh, thank you for watching Eagle News. So the first slide and the last slide are usually always going to be the same. So that's how I did it. Now, what, I want to sh what I'm going to show you uh, is uh, I'm going to try and go through a show now and see how it goes. <laughs> now, granted, I'm here by myself, so I don't have somebody switching. But what you're going to need to do, though, is definitely have someone on the PowerPoint operating the PowerPoint, somebody operating audio, and then somebody operating the TriCaster. So we're always going to start the show with slide number one. So well, let me pull that up. And I'll go full screen on the slide. And what we'll do is, uh, this is what the first thing they're going to see. So you can create your own slide. You know, you either have PowerPoint or you have um, uh, Keynote, if it's Apple, or you have Google Slide. So create your own slide and maybe even make it a project for the kids to create a slide. Make it, you know, your your image. It's going to be your image. It's the first thing they're going to see. Okay, so we're going to try a show here and see kind of how it goes step by step. So first thing we're going to do, we're going to start out with the title slide that you created. And um, this one, I suggest that what you do is embed audio. So I have a little soundtrack here I'm going to play. And let me switch to a widescreen. Okay, so there's a little soundtrack going on. And the whole idea with that, of course, is it's identifiable. So people will hear it, you know, you know the kids will hear it, teachers will hear it, whoever's watching will hear it and say, oh, the news is coming on. So it has like a, you know, Pavlovian <laughs> effect on, on uh, you know, the listeners, the viewers. So what you're going to do is now, after the main slide, is you're going to switch to your main set, which is your uh, anchors, where your anchors are. So I have that ready in preview. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch over. Hi, welcome to our show. And then depending on how you have it set up, 
Uh, now, while that's happening in the process, your next slide is, is, is up in the preview. So now it's in previews, and there's my next slide. Now, a lot of schools will do the pledge uh, uh, as, you know, as the next slide. So they'll say, OK, OK, welcome to our show. And uh, I'm, and what I do recommend, too, is I'm going to pull up full screen. We're going to pull up a super. We're going to super the names of the students. Hi, I'm Brad, and this is Tamika. Welcome to Eagle News. Please stand for the pledge. So when we say that, we we'll bring out the uh, super lower third. And we're going to switch now to the full screen of that. And I'll go full screen. Also, I have music on here, which we'll, we'll play. So some of the schools will have students do the pledge which I think is a good idea. Okay, so there's the pledge. So when that's over now, you're going to switch back to the set, and then they're going to do some other announcements. And again, remember now, the, the uh, PowerPoint operator is going to switch to the next slide, and uh, we're going to get ready to for the anchors to read the next announcement. And I just picked one here. I said, OK, this is a library fund. So we're going to switch to the next slide. While the uh, students are reading it, they're going to see the full graphic. We have new books that arrived in a media center, the complete series of Harry Potter, Junie B. Jones series, the Berenstain Bears, and the Babysitter's Clubs. So come on down to the library and Pick out a good book. OK, then you're going to switch back to the anchor desk. And you're going to switch to the next slide. And um, we have a special announcement. We have a special announcement um, about uh, lunch. So we're going to have Mr. Mr. G is going to tell us a little bit more about that. So I'm going to switch over. Oh, hi, uh, Mr. G. I want to tell you we have some uh, a new schedule. For, due to increase in our school's uh, population, we need to adjust the lunchroom schedules. So they are as follows. Kindergarten, 1050, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. And then uh, going to go back. So don't forget now the new schedule. OK, now we go back to our wide anchor desk. And the person gets the next slide ready. And let's pull that up on preview. Well, we have a, another announcement to make in uh, art news. Looks like Mrs. Sanchez's third grade class has completed their bulletin board outside of the room 3301. This month's theme is geography around the world. So don't forget to stop by and have a look. OK, so next slide is getting ready. And uh, if you have any more announcements, you'll have them. If you have to switch to another set, you can switch to another set. And here's another announcement that I might have. Go back to the main set. Now you're getting ready to wrap up your show. So this, the last slide is credits. So I'm going to show that. So OK, that's our show for today. Thank you for tuning in and watching. You have a great day at school. And we'll see you tomorrow. Boom, we switch. We go here. I got music. Full screen. Now, the last slide should be credits. So you could either have, you know, you could put down the, the students' names, the producer, director, anybody that was that was part of the show. It's just easier to do a little credit, and it means a lot to the students. So thanks for watching. And then at this point, what you're going to do is you're going to fade to black, and that's this button over here, FTB, and you're going to fade to black. And that's going to end your show. So I know it was a lot, but if you follow that routine, 
and um, you know, you do it a couple times. It, it it's like riding a bike. You know, you'll have an opening, you have a middle, you have an ending. So the students will get used to the sequence and what buttons to push at a certain time. And then uh, you know, every day you can have another show. So this is basically simple, but you can add to it as you go along. Once you feel a little bit more confident in your ability to do the show and that it looks good and you'll get compliments, I know you will, and then uh, you'll say, okay, well now we're gonna do something different. We're gonna add a video or we're gonna uh, add another super uh, graphic and things like that. So you'll be able to do more. Hopefully you got a lot out of this one and watch it again and I hope that I explained it the best I could. <laughs> so uh, have a good show. Thank you.